Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and welcome to Kinky Sweats, a platform where I share all things movement and beauty. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And for those who are returning, thank you for visiting me again. I am so excited today because as you could probably already tell from the title, we're talking all Pat McGrath. I could have filmed this video in several ways in terms of presentation. How do I rank all the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes or which ones are my favorites? I wanted to make it which Pat McGrath eye palette is best for you because I understand no matter what my favorite is it might not align with your lifestyle or maybe you might not like purple if my favorite Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette is La Vain Rose and you're like that's great but purple for me is like Ugh. then well let's talk about each and every one and what they have to offer in terms of the color scheme the textures uh, what part of the color spectrum you know for sure you'll use on a daily basis you'll use most of to get the most out of your money because I don't know if you know mother Pat asks for a lot of money not that we have to give it to her but we willingly do so because she is an outstanding makeup artist I mean legendary creates the most beautiful runway looks and has really set the stage for several trends and just her imagination is so vast that it pulls you in no matter what she creates. And again, I don't know if you visited her Instagram feed, but I just love how she posts different pieces of her inspiration, whether it's from a movie poster, a clip from a music video, uh, a museum piece, whatever. You could just see the wheels turning and how she thinks and when she sees color and texture, how she translates it into makeup and she brings that experience to the consumer. It's just otherworldly. So again, I wanna break down each eyeshadow palette, what each one has to offer, and we'll take it from there. If you wanna see all the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes and figure out which one is for you, and find out at the end of the video which one's my favorite, then please keep on watching. I am so excited! Because you know I love to talk about Pat McGrath, and today I have some Pat McGrath on, if you could already tell. So first we're gonna start with the first three that launched. She came out with a trio of eyeshadow palettes that she calls the Mothership one, two, and three. And each Mothership palette has a name. I present to you Mothership One Subliminal. Now, in addition to the fact that Pat McGrath is just a goddess, her boxes are literal pieces of art. And that's why I've kept these palettes inside. I don't throw away the box. I mean, how can you throw away this box, you crazy? Even before you open the box, it kind of gives you a peek of what kind of color story we're gonna move into, what we might see inside, and it's, again, experience from beginning through the middle through the end. If you don't know, as well. Each Mothership eyeshadow palette retails for $125. Mother Pat did have a 25% off site-wide sale recently, so a lot of you messaged me saying, ooh, I did some damage, but I had to. I'm like, I understand. Each eyeshadow palette comes with the shades on a card because, because you have a black lacquer box with a shiny mirrored gold back and again you just have the shades inside people had gripes about the shade name being inside the palette do you see how beautiful this is and when you open it inside i mean you don't want shadow names to mar the presentation do you and i get it if you are a youtuber and you're filming these videos that it is helpful to see inside and know what name you're saying on camera like i get it listen memorize it please don't put shade names in here okay Pat, don't listen to them. So here we have Subliminal Mothership One, and you can tell this is very cool tone, very taupe, and the one standout shade you have is the blue, and I believe this one is called Blitz Blue. And I'll just swatch it for you now. This, perhaps, is just, look, look at the depth of that blue. Opaque, smooth, just, absolutely gorgeous now who is this for one that loves taupey shades and again you have three mattes in here you have a very light shade taupe as well as a medium shade taupe and then you have the black the extreme black which is in all three mothership palettes maybe she could have had another matte that aligned with the color story for each palette i'm sure she has a reason for doing that but if there was like one critique i had about the mothership palette is that one you have also this beautiful lavender shade that's just gorgeous on the lid or even on the inner corner you also have a smoky taupe shade that i think will be beautiful all over the eye and just have that as your 
one eye look. I mean, look how beautifully dimensional that looks. It's not just this smoky taupe shade, but you got like something else in here. I can't quite pick it up, but, and you could put this on top of this. And then you have this beautiful gold shade, which is like a lighter gold. She has a, a, a few deep golds here across the board. And this is gorgeous if you want that pop of shine on the lid or again on the inner corner. And then you have her transformative shades. These are really fun because these are the topper shades that really make the color electric, vibrant. It kicks up the shine and the glitz. If you want this blue to be like... You know, you take this shade and then you put it on top and look what that does to Blitz Blue. It amps it up, it gives you that sparkle and shine. And I think these are fairly easy to work with. Just be very careful, use your fingers and go in lightly so you don't have the particles falling on your face. And then you have this shade too that is dual chrome in nature. You can even see it on camera how it changes. You could use it on its own or here I'll just place that next to blitz blue that's beautiful on its own if you wanted to put this on top of maybe one of these shades see how that goes see what that does this is what i'm saying this is like arts and crafts in the palette <laughs> again this color profile is suitable for those i think light to medium skin tone it shows up on me very light so if you're darker than me you might not have much success with the mask the black for sure is going to show up but again, if you're spending 125, I would like as a consumer to use all the shades. I would say if you're on light medium skin tone part of the spectrum, you love blues and taupes and this overall like very cool tone purple blue lavender story then you're gonna love subliminal now even though i'm tan i still love the topi shades because sometimes i just want to have a cool story on the lid but sublime look at her lids and just look at her she has like a a beam between her <sighs> this is the one that sold out first when these first released and i think it's because as you will see in a moment mothership 2 is giving you the emerald shade but it's also giving you this beautiful, like, deep mahogany brown, again, with the extreme black. This is, like, this is pretty much the equivalent to Blitz Blue in Subliminal. I mean, look at that shade. And I actually used this shade because I wanted to follow a Sandra Deluxe video, and I actually filmed it, but the sound and the audio was terrible. But I ended up creating this eye look, like, very avant-garde, just using blitz emerald and oh my goodness i loved how it turned out i even loved how it looked like out and about because i didn't think i didn't know if it was gonna look too crazy but it was gorgeous and working with the shade a dream so again you got these transformative shades here if you were to kick up blitz emerald i'm gonna take this shade here put it on top and look what that does it's almost like a watermelon type of action going on you know what i mean completely changes the color but it still looks gorgeous and then you have good old gold can't go wrong that was an interesting swatch alicia a lot richer and deeper warmer in tone than the last gold we swatched from subliminal and then again you have these shades that are a little more daily friendly like even though this is red tone it's still soft so it's not gonna be crazy intense when you apply it on the lid if you just wanted to apply it by yourself or maybe just on the lid very lightly or you could apply this shade here which i think is a beautiful soft mink brown i think that will look beautiful on the lid i forgot to mention with the first palette each one has a skin show nude type of color that you could use on the inner corner on your brow bone in this one it's called skin show glow and this one is a little pinkier in tone so this is what that shade looks like. So it's very light, but has like a pinky shift to it, again, that you could use on the highlight points of your eyes. And this shade here, I think is gorgeous by itself, or you could combine these two, make a beautiful, like, reddish type of orange thing going on, but it still will look daily friendly. And again, with this matte, I believe this one is called Dark. So this is what that looks like. If you're curious to see the taupey shades on me, I'm so sorry I didn't do this before, but here are the taupey shades from Subliminal. So this is the light taupey shade. Very, very light, but again, it'll show up a little bit on me. And this is the medium color shade, which is very gray. So again, 
back to the topies and the and the cools and i think that's the reason why everyone loved this so much because even though it's pat mcgrath and it's a little glitzy you can still play it safe with these shades and out of all the three this is definitely the more daily friendly palette only because again you have these warm metallic shades that you can use by themselves because keep in mind, even though these are metallic shades, they're very smooth and they blend out effortlessly across your lid and crease. You don't even have to go in with this matte shade. I would suggest it if you want a little more intensity and depth on the outer corners or both outer and inner corners. But if you're looking just to use one shade, blend this out. These are incredibly smooth and the way they just move across the skin i mean again and you don't have to be afraid of the shade because look how beautifully it diffuses out and you'll just have this beautiful wash of color on the lid that has a little bit of pizzazz but it's not too crazy you know what i mean and it's comfortable to use you don't feel anxious using like oh i don't know if i'm gonna blend it out it's gonna look fine you can use your fingers and again, Pat McGrath loves to use her finger. So keep in mind, she probably designed these shadows with fingers in mind in terms of how do I love to apply eyeshadow? Fingers. Apply it all over the lid, maybe a little bit of like the transformative shade to pop on top if you wanted to add a little glitz. Because again, look how that changed the shade. It gives it like a dual chrome effect. This one is, I believe, Astral Ghost Orchid. And this is pinkier in tone but i think it looks so pretty look at that it like made that pinkier it's hard to see on camera because these are just extraordinary you have so many opportunities to play to change the color to change the shift the undertone the sparkle the finish i mean you can have a blast with these palettes i know they're expensive and it's overwhelming because you want all of them but if you're on a budget and you have to decide like look which one is realistic for me i think this is good for all skin tones across the board you saw dark is is pretty dark and i think will add beautiful depth you got your extreme black on here to add that level of intensity that you could really kick it up to make it very smoky on the eyes blitz emerald i mean come on greens i just think are gorgeous for all skin tones and because of these golds that you got in here especially like the dual chrome topper shade paired with this one i think this is called bronze 005 like deeper skin tones are gonna have a blast with this shade man and the foam you can have here i think beautiful sometimes one palette has like a warmer matte or a more nudey skin show shade now this is a little pinkier in tone so you might have to dip out and use whatever highlighter you applied on your face to put on your inner corner or brow arch because again this is not the warmest out of the three in terms of the skin show shades from the palettes but you know just keep that in mind i love this one for sure i mean i love the color story and again definitely one of the more daily friendly color arrangements out of the three <sighs> mothership three this is the first one i purchased i purchased subversive and i had a hard time deciding which one i wanted to get first because online they all look beautiful and you're like i want them all but you're like i don't have all the money i'm not even gonna wait till the end this is my favorite palette yes i like it more than bronze seduction i know who am I? I will explain in a minute. Just dirty fingers. Let me just give you a chance, okay? Here is Subversive. I have Subversive on my eyes. I have Gigabyte on my lid and Night Creature on the lower lash line. I also have Depth on the crease outer corner. And I also have this shade here, which is called Lazarus. I don't know what it is about Gigabyte. Gigabyte is, I feel, the standout shade out of all the palettes. That's what I think. The glitz, listen, listen. Look at the level of sparkle and just the shade, the tone of this eye. Oh my goodness, come on in. I, again, I don't know why I love it so much. I just love the shade, the tone, the glitz, the sparkle everything about it is just i can't describe it i mean look 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 i'm running out of arm room but that's fine i'll make it happen look how gorgeous that is and then night creature night creature could not be duplicated cannot look how electrifying that is that violet tone oh the reason why i love this is because when deciding which one i should get first 
This is the warmest matte out of all three. They were the mini palettes that released afterwards and we'll get to those in a second. But this matte was the warmest out of the three and that's why I decided to get Subversive first. So you see like even though that kind of looked warm if you didn't see this one, that's a little more cool tone. I thought I'd rather have that as a transition shade. Even though it's still pretty dark, if you're not used to blending, go in with a light hand so you have a little bit of control. But I love this shade for the crease. And paired with Night Creature, I just feel this is a lot more comprehensive, right? If you want to go exclusively violet, you got Night Creature. If you want to stick to the gold situation, you got Gigabyte. This Astral shade, come on, are you kidding me? This is virtual reality pink. The one in Sublime was Virtual Reality Nectar, which is also beautiful. Oh God, wait a minute. I'm gonna put Night Creature here first, which I kind of mixed with Blitz Blue, and I'm not even mad at what that created, whoa! But here, let's do Virtual Reality Pink on top. Look at how that changed the shade absolutely gorgeous no matter how you layer these the shade and the color that gets created is gorgeous like you'll never get a muddy shade you'll layer them it'll just transform into something equally as gorgeous no matter how you do it but you got the blue see this is what i'm saying right you have the purple the beautiful bronze antique gold and then you got the blue situation if you want to do blue instead this is how this blue i'm gonna do it right next to blitz it's very hard to see. This is like more like a duochrome shade. That's more like a black and blue. And then the other one, this here is lighter in nature. And this is what that looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? It's, it's like, I don't even know. It has a purple shift to it. Look at that purple shift. It's hard to see on camera, but it's absolutely gorgeous. But again, see, Skin Show Nude is a lot more beige, and this is what I have on the inner corner. And because it's beige, I feel a lot better for warmer skin tones, or even if you're light medium. But look how beautiful that is. I feel like that's the best one out of the bunch, to be quite honest, because I could even use this as like a highlighter shade if I really want it, like very high top points of the cheekbones gorgeous and lazarus lazarus is like your bronze shade oop dirtied it up look how beautiful that is look just the depth of that oh my goodness and it's like the shade the red one from sublime again finesse it all over your lid and crease you don't even have to use a matte because they're so smooth and beautiful to work with whether it's a shader brush if you want to use a blender brush whatever tool you feel comfortable using you slap that on it'll move and glide against the skin and it'll just look diffused and beautiful like a pro if you don't want to use a brush use your fingers just punch it on in a way that's very soft and it's just a gorgeous shade oh my goodness I love subversive subversive is my favorite again because you got like I love the tone of the matte I love the metallic shades I love the warm nature of the skin show nude shade and again gigabyte this is like if you're into color and you would like to experiment but I feel you could get a lot of use because you still have Lazarus to hold you down but you could have fun like placing these shades on the lower lash line even this one on the lower lash line or on the inner corner if you just want a little pop of color but still want to play it safe this will give it to you oh i'm running out of arm space we gotta ooh, we gotta do a makeup wipe interlude oh i love talking about the graphic things all day the matte shade from subversive is called deep shade I'm gonna mix these names up. I'm just gonna let you know right away because you know I'll mix them up in my other videos. And also, I have all Pat McGrath everything in my Pat McGrath playlist. If you wanna see any of these palettes of action, head on over, have a blast, get a snack, and just watch all the tutorials using Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. Next up, and I'm sorry for showing this because this is no longer available, but because we gotta talk about all the palettes, this is Mothership 4 Decadence. Now, I don't know about you, but the packaging on this, the design is is absolutely royal you got the crown and all the jewels on here like this is definitely an experience this palette is all metallic shades and you're like ooh, I don't know I'm not gonna go too much into it because again it's not available so if you end up loving it definitely when you see this this is all gem toned like basically pulling from 
what the crown is doing and translating it into all eyeshadow colors. You don't have any mattes in here, but again, Pat's metallic formula is divine. It moves beautifully across the skin. Again, you don't need a matte shade to blend these out. They blend out on their own. They look smooth still. They don't look separated and they don't look dry because of the shine. The particles are quite smooth. And again, like, look at this. Look at this blue. Look at the gold. Oh my god, silver. It's silver. Mm. Then you got this. This is my favorite shade. I mean, what is that? I can't even explain what that is. It's like this, this a lavender smoke. So gorgeous. First of all, if you love Pat McGrath, you will grab this if if you find it on ebay for a million dollars i don't know if you have this though and you don't know how to use it treat this as like a standout eyeshadow palette combine the blues if you want to combine and use this blue to kind of deepen this blue up it, it'll add that intensity to it if you just wanted to keep it chill you use this shade all over your lid i think that's really gorgeous if you wanted to deepen it up this is like a beautiful plum shade that has gorgeous smoke to it you could put that all over your lid because again you don't necessarily need a matte to blend these out you could just do a one color story on the eyes or you could use this shade as your inner corner highlight or even this one or you could use one shade on the lid and another shade on the lower lash line and these combine beautifully i think at one point i combined this shade with the plum shade like i use this on the outer and inner these and then i apply this on the center of my lid or if you just want to do all red you could do all red or you could combine it with this shade and make it happen and create a nice gradient of color so you have a lot of play time in here but again they're all metallics and they're all bold and gem like so if you're not into that then you're like, I'm glad I didn't pick it up. But if you have it and you don't know quite what to do with it and you feel it's just sitting in a drawer, take full advantage, man. These colors are rich, saturated, and beautiful. You could do a lot of things with them. You can make them, again, your standout lid color. You could do a really beautiful smoky lower lash line. You could do beautiful inner corner color stories on that part of the eye so yeah man go nuts i'm so happy i picked this up it was tough because i felt at that time i just picked up so many pat shadows and i was like i don't care it's limited edition so happy i picked it up don't mean to rub that in your face but we're gonna move on and the one that we lost all our minds over when we saw it online when we saw the sneak peeks bronze seduction this is just look how you're entering another world entering her world okay i think everyone was really excited because this was like this looked like it could be the palette we could use every day from other pad i was excited about this palette because of this shade i'm like thank god she didn't put another extreme black in another mothership palette but then you have this shade so i'm going in the order of the motherships but these are not in the order that they were released when we get into the minis you'll see one matte that released before bronze seduction that was the lightest matte out of all the three motherships initially released and everyone was like oh my god because the the mattes in pat are intense and sometimes they apply a little darker than what they appear in the pan so when we saw this we're like thank god this is a beautiful matte shade I mean, great to use just as your transition. If you want to deepen it up, you'll take the medium mahogany shade, go in with that to change it up. Or you could even go in with the Extreme Aubergine, which is just a beautiful deep eggplant color. I mean, look at the tone of that matte outrageously gorgeous. This is the palette that, again, I feel is actually more daily friendly than sublime we're gonna see these side by side i feel like oh god this is hard i feel like bronze seduction is definitely warmer than sublime and of course it's all warm shades it's all dealing with reds oranges golds and bronzes blitz fire i mean come on are you dying fire opal fire opal has to be my favorite subversive is my favorite eyeshadow palette I'm just gonna say that right now. But my favorite topper shade from all of them. Oh my god, I'm sorry. This is Fire Opal. Sorry. That's Luna Gold. I love Luna Gold, but Fire Opal? Come on. Green, gold, shift, dual chrome happenings. Look at that shine. 
amazing. Oh my god. But you got rose gold, you got rose gold to pull it together if you want to stay warm, you know what I mean? Bronze blaze, bronze blaze coming up. I have to say though, I don't know if it's because of my palette, but these two shades got a little dry on me and I'm not too sure if it's because I haven't used it. Because my Gigabyte doesn't feel as dry as again, what is this called? The bronze blaze shade. And I feel the same with Guilty Pleasure which is like a smoky type of situation going on. Like this is a lot more drier than I, I remember when I first opened the palette. I wish they were a little creamier so they could be easier to maneuver around the eye. They're not as creamy. Definitely this is creamier in nature than the other metallics in here. And the Skin Show Shade is Skin Show Divine Glow, which I think, I don't remember how it compares I feel like this is more like of a light gold type of situation and Skin Show Nude from Subversive is more champagne and I think a lot warmer in nature. So again, this is if you love the reds and the oranges and the bronzes. If not having a black matte is not a priority for you, then this palette will be great. Subversive is still my favorite again because I just love the color story in that palette, but I understand why people love this one so much. It's still sold out in a lot of Sephora stores that I have recently visited. I never see it in stock and I found that it was also out of stock a lot on Pat McGrath Labs. These are the credentials. If you don't have a Pat McGrath palette, a mothership, big mothership one at all if you want a little bit of fun but you still want to keep it so that you could use this on a daily basis then definitely get bronze seduction because you could use this shade as a transition and then you can pop on one of these shades on the lid or you could do a little bit of the astral and dual chrome topper shades lid inner corner or even under the lash line you could also use this as a beautiful smoky shade if you want to deepen your eye look i think this is good for most skin tones especially if you move towards to the deeper skin tone i'm not sure how this shade will show up maybe a very light transition shade but extreme aubergine i think will show up very well as an intense shade or not let me know down below if you have bronze seduction and your deeper in skin tone and how those mattes show up and these mattes are warmer than the ones in sublime even though they have a lot of bronze shades in there but I feel like this one doesn't have a lot of smooth metallic and I don't know why this texture kind of change is very different from again the the smooth metallics that Pat has in her collection you can make it work like it still looks smooth but you really have to make sure the powders are pressed into the skin so they don't move around and fall into your face. So I highly recommend Bronze Deduction if you want the warm shades, exclusively warm shades, but still wanna apply this for the daily eye look or have an option to smoke it up for evening or an event. If you really wanna glitz it up and amplify the look with the topper shades, these are by far my favorite out of the bunch, then definitely go for Bronze Deduction. Oh, now we're going into the minis, man. The minis are fun. When I first saw these, I was like, aww. They are, I feel, an extension of the bigger eyeshadow palette. So you see that they have the same design as their bigger mothership sisters. But when you open them up, you can kind of figure out why the color story is what it is, right? So for instance, if we go one by one and we start with subliminal, which is the mothership one, and we open this up and you know how taupey in nature subliminal is, and you see this, you're like, oh, I understand. But I love this design because it's smaller, $65 and not 125 It also has one matte shade. You definitely have options in terms of like blending out the metallic shades if you want to or just using the matte shade as an all over eye look. You always have like a highlighter option, different tones of course depending on the palette, but this one I feel is really nice for inner corner highlight or even on the lid if you just want to keep it really simple. But you know, you got the topes and you got the bronzes here. You have really nice, is pewter? I forgot what color pewter is, but I really love, look how gorgeous these shades are. Like I, there was nothing on the finger. I think this is good for the daily too. You could definitely get away using this shade all over the lid or if you want to deepen it up, you could use this shade here. This is the coolest I feel out of the bunch. So that's that shade, but I think it's gorgeous too. And again, if you want to deepen the intensity, you can use this matte shade that's almost like purple in tone. 
isn't that gorgeous? It's not brown, it's not exclusively purple, it's in between. I love it. I almost didn't buy this, but I had to because, I mean, this is a great metallic formula. Again, you don't need a matte to apply these. You could just apply on the lid and on the crease and be done. This is if you love taupes and cool bronzes, now sublime mothership too. This is more like copper, gold, terracotta. See this matte? This is the matte that when released, everyone was like, yes! Because we have something to blend out these deeper mattes with from the bigger Mothership palettes. That's a beautiful deep terracotta shade. And again, you still got your champagne shade on standby to use for your inner corner highlight. If you want to go copper, you have this shade. And these are the smooth metallic formula. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I love it. So fiery, so like fiery sunshine orange. But then this is actually a, a different formula, I think, that launched with this palette. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong. It's a matte with sparkle. So it's matte, but it has like gold sparkle in it. And I think this is a beautiful shade. You could put it all over your lid. You could just put it on the outer corner to smoke it out, especially if you want to smoke out this matte. If you just want to use one shade all over, but it not be as bold as the copper, you still have this. That's just gorgeous. I love this shade. This is a bad palette, man. I love the color story here, and I think this is probably the most daily friendly out of the three minis, because again, you got the copper, you got the oranges, you got your terracotta matte, but you have this dark brown that's not so warm. It's almost like a like a neutral brown, not too warm, but not too cool either. That when I used this palette, I was just blown away with how beautiful the smokiness of the eyes looked, but it looked brown smoky. I didn't have to use black to create that intensity. The grading effect that I had from that matte sparkly shade was just, oh my God. Absolutely super gorgeous. And lastly, we have Subversive. And this was a nice surprise because you're like, this could go in so many ways. She got so many colors in the mothership subversive like war how can she do this lovey and rose look at lovey and rose this is just i mean come on come on this is an easy one because if you don't like purples don't get this palette same thing if you don't like taupes if you don't like copper shades you don't get bronze ambition bronze ambition excuse me if i didn't say this before bronze ambition is the name of the mini sublime and platinum bronze is the name of the mini subliminal well she goes blue and dark star which is what we're going to get into in a minute but here you got look at this purple you're not even ready friends look at that oh my god the the vibrancy of that purple like and then you have this magenta shade. Oh my goodness, look at that. Gorgeous all over the lid, but this was the best shade out of the bunch. I was surprised with how much I love this matte. This is like a deep lavender matte that, oh, it is optimal to smoke out these metallic shades with. If you wanna keep it exclusively purple, like looking purple, this matte is gonna do it for you, man. And then you got this light pink, which I think is nice to have if you wanna use this shade instead of the champagne one. This is more gold in nature. It's a little deeper than I feel the champagne shades in the other minis. This, I feel, is more suitable for a lid or lower lash line color, and this is a little lighter, so you probably will use this shade for your inner corner highlight, or not, if you, if you don't wanna go that route. But then you have this metallic lavender shade, Oh my God, like this is so purple. It looks blue, especially next to this color. Look at that, simply gorgeous. I love the color story here at La Vie and Rose and absolutely get this if you love purples. You will not be disappointed. I, of course, like I mentioned earlier, I do have tutorials using all these palettes. If you wanna see how I use La Vie and Rose, head over. That matte lavender shade is my favorite. I freaking cannot get over it. Every time I use it, I just remember like, oh, this is why I love this palette. Oh, we're almost done, friends. We're almost done. Lastly, we have Opulence. Opulence, I feel, is directly from Decadence. I mean, you see here the packaging or the design, rather, is kind of like pieces of the crown jewels design on each of the mini palettes. Now, first up, we have the Subliminal, which is, again, 
from this color story. So initially, we saw the first mini deal with the topes in Mothership 1. We got Dark Star that's going to expand on the blue from Subliminal Mothership 1. And I present to you Dark Star. You see Dark Star, you're like, ooh, I'm not into blues. But actually rather get this over Mothership 1. I know that's crazy because I feel Mothership 1 is a lot to handle if you just love Blitz Blue. You know what I mean? But if you want a blue but not commit to 125, you can at least get the $65 one because this blue ain't nothing to sneer at, okay? That's a gorgeous blue, but this is the shade. This matte shade is like a deep gray blue matte. Oh my God, amazing. And then this deep eggplant metallic, come on, look at that shade. Oh can't take it and then this is the matte with the sparkles in here as is matte black i think this is even blacker than the extreme matte in the first mothership the first three big motherships because that is black and then you got your gold shade that i feel is really nice on the lid if you just want to keep it low key but you still got your champagne shade to use again as your inner corner highlight your your basic highlighting shade for whatever you want to use it for even if you just want to put it on the lid to keep it very simple. I don't know at what point that stopped recording. I understand Blitz Blue from Subliminal One is gorgeous because it has that depth that this one, I mean, this is a little, it's just lighter. It's just a lighter color, right? If I were to dip back into Mothership One, oh, and I think I just broke my glasses. If I were to just dip in Mothership One so you can see, like, it's a different blue altogether and again so you kind of have to decide if you want to commit to blitz blue because you love that shade so much that i understand that's the driving force behind you wanting to get subliminal mothership one but if you like blue and you want to experiment but you don't want to commit to the big mothership then this is something i would consider and even if you don't want to use the blue on your lid come on but this shade look at that shade that's a gorgeous shade, man. Lower lash line or just the lid. Oh my God. Like, no, you can't get better than that. Now we got Sublime, which is off from the Mothership 2 story. And yes, we got Blitz Emerald and Mothership 2. So what do we got here? This is very Christmas time to me. I don't know if it's because the palette is red and you got the green and the red in here as well. But this, you know, it, it screams holiday to me. And look at this matte shade. This is the one, the one out of all the opulence minis that has two mattes. With the exception from Dark Star, that black matte has a little bit of sparkle in it, sparkle flex, so it's not exclusively matte, but still more on the matte side of the spectrum compared to the other shades in there. And oh my God, look at this green. Yeah, you ready? <gasps> if I were to compare it to Blitz Emerald, I feel like Blitz Emerald Green is more, like it has more of a black base and the one from, what is this valley called? So many names. Bronze Temptation. Bronze Temptation has a little blue in it. It's almost like a teal compared to Blitz Emerald. Corruption. You can't see it, but Corruption is a nice duochrome, man. Like, come on. Oh my god. <gasps> I can't get over that shade. This is another duochrome shade as well. It's hard to see on camera, but look at that. Oh my God, so pretty. This is exclusively matte for sure. If you wanted to deepen up the lighter Sienna shade, you can definitely use that to make it happen, yeah? Highlighter shade for whatever you wanna use. I actually use this on my face. I really love this as a face highlighter, which is nice to know, like depending on the palette, you could use some of these shadows, not only on the eyes, but on the face as well. This is definitely the more daily friendly out of the three opulence mini palettes. Now out of all the minis, like the original three minis, I still feel Bronze Ambition is, a, I think, still slightly more daily friendly than Bronze Temptation because again, this is more monochromatic in terms of like, this is the most poppy shade out of here. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in Temptation, the green is really gonna like 
bring it to you. So if you still are like, I don't know, man, like I love the green, but I don't think I'm gonna use it very often and take full advantage of it, then stick with bronze ambition because I think that's definitely more daily friendly. But again, this is a lighter matte than this matte. So if you're gonna be okay with that, then still get this one, right? Because if you still need a lighter matte to blend out the one in here, then just use a bronzer or something to make it happen. But if you're not afraid to have a little bit of fun, especially with these shades, like, oh my God. Cause you could still like look pretty warm with this shade. If you were to combine this one, this one, and this one, I think that's a nice daily look. Or if you just wanna apply this in the crease and just dab a little bit of this on, your lid, then that could be great too. This is like, if you need the daily friendly shades but a little bit of pop, Bronze Temptation is for you. Now the last palette, we got Metamorphosis. This is, it says subversive, so again, we're dealing with this color story, you know, Gigabyte, Night Creature, and all those shades, but Metamorphosis is actually an eye kit that many of you had uh, told me in my first opulence review video that those that was the kit that was sold with the bronze the gold the silver and the copper shades in the black pans the single pans and these are like metals okay this shade is a matte but it has magenta sparkles it's hard to see i don't know let me go in look at that sparkle in the matte gold standard and sterling silver are already in the existing no more room are already in the existing decadence palette wrong finger again which again is sold out so if you want a little bit of decadence in your life you'll find the two shades here but come on like this shade beautiful let's do it i i have an eye look and i'm gonna put all the cards to make it a little easier for you, I don't know how many cards I could put in one video because there's going to be a lot of cards. But each eyeshadow palette, I'll try to put the card aligning with the look I did with that palette just so you could go back and see, you know, how I combine these shades and what I do with it. I loved the look I created using this palette. And the reason why is because I layered the, like, the silver on the gold. I don't know what I did. I did something nuts. And... I think it's just, you know, because of the quality of the shadows or, or the tone of the shadows, it just heightens the experience and just changes the color. Like, do I have something on my forehead? Like, I love that you can do that with her eyeshadows, that you can combine the shades, you can have fun. Like, let's see, if we were to combine, let me, let me use this, this arm because I don't have any room on this arm. You got this shade and then you got this shade, you know? So like you could use that on the lid or you could use this on the lid and use this on the outer corner. If you wanted to combine them and wanted to put this on top of the red, see what that does? Oh my God, so gorgeous. If you want to use this shade and put it on top of the orange shade, look how beautiful that is. If you just wanted to use that by itself, Oh my god if you're comfortable using color and you don't mind that you don't get a matte in here and you'll just use a matte from another palette to uh showcase any of these shades then definitely go for metamorphosis i love metamorphosis yes it's not as daily friendly because silver and gold i mean these are very strong metallic shades that are just gonna show up silver and gold on your lid if you have special events if you perform if you just love those colors and want them to really pop on your lid then definitely go for metamorphosis but this shade here where'd it go i love the purple matte with the magenta sparkles i think it is a gorgeous shade that could be your all over smoky eye shade you could just make it that color and use the other colors to work off of it and create a nice multi-dimensional look with the purple shade and any of the metal shades Ugh. oh my god my friends that's it that is all our pat mcgrath eyeshadow palettes i know this is very overwhelming and i feel like i talk and chat so much that i kind of lose track of what the point is i hope that i provided some guidance for you in terms of the colors in each palette uh what they do and their textures to help you realize that you don't need all of Pat McGrath's palettes. I have them all because I love makeup and I love her and I definitely collect these because I do see them as collector items in terms of the boxes that they're housed in. And again, like she puts so much of herself in these curations and I wanna be a part of each one. <laughs> so that's why I got all of them. And I wanna be very serious. If you're not 
and I'm into makeup. Okay, I put on makeup, I apply makeup every day. I work in an industry, I work in fitness that I can go in with this eye look and no one will just bat an eye. They'll be like, oh, you're coming from a shoot? If you're in a corporate world or you're in a environment that when you walk in with purple eyes, I mean, is, the, is it in a handbook that you can't wear purple eyeshadow to work? I don't know. So you really have to make sure that you are able to take full advantage of these eyeshadow palettes. But that's not to say, like, Alicia, I don't work all the time. Like, I, I go to parties, I go to events. Like, I want something that I could go from work to event to night or back and forth as much as I can. I would say the bigger mothership palettes are gonna do that because they have more textures, right? You have uh, two mattes at least. You got the, the black matte in each of the big mothership palettes. And then you have the metallic shades, two topper duochrome shades, uh, and a fun shade, right? That's gonna give you more range, but again, it's a lot more expensive. So depending on, are you gonna take advantage of the big poppy shade or are you just gonna use the metallic shades in there? So you have to ask yourself that. I really love the original original three minis because I think these are very comprehensive and I feel you could do a lot like for instance if we were to open up subliminal again the mini one you could do a lot with just these six shades you have the matte here to make it happen with the intensity or again if you already have a bronzer shade use your bronzer as your transition and use the lighter metallic shades for your lid color during the day and then to spice it up you'll add in this color on the outer corner because this creates nice intensity without it being the actual color black you could add a little more of this shade to deepen up the lid and or you could just use one of these shades to just make it smoky all around without using the matte because when you get into the opulence palettes these have a lot more color to them they're a lot they got a little more pizzazz right even uh, Bronze Temptation because Bronze Temptation has that green shade and that crazy beautiful like magenta shade so again if you're not going to take full advantage of these shades or you're just going to use them once in a while but you still want a Pat McGrath palette and you don't want the big mothership ones then definitely look at one of the original minis. My favorite palette is Subversive, the big Subversive. I can't help it. I think this is my favorite color story. I just love Night Creature and I love every time I apply these shades to my lid. I just get reminded each and every time why I love these colors. I don't know what it is. Their their undertone, their vibrancy, they they really just take me to another place. Out of all the big palettes, Brown Seduction, uh, I feel again is still gonna be a favorite out of all five big motherships because you got more mattes in here that are not just uh, deep brown and black you got eggplant you got the like terracotta shade and you got this deep mahogany shade and you still got I think the fun color in here is the red color that I think is still more daily friendly even though it's very bright than like blue and emerald you know what I'm saying you still got the bronze and these topper shades fire opal man can't get over how beautiful that shade is you still have great versatility here right because this could bring you day to night very quickly or even event or even costume like these shades the amount of sparkle these provide like flawlessly and easily you don't need glitter glue i recommend it. you do use glitter glue if you don't have much luck with these sticking because sometimes i have to do that i totally understand but they're pretty easy to apply lightly with the fingers so make sure you take a light amount of those topper textures so it doesn't get all over your face again my friends i hope this helped my pat mcgrath playlist link will be down below and you could also just access it anytime you want on my channel let me know what your favorite pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette is and we'll take it from there and until next time friends that's a wrap thank you all so much for watching i hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until then i'll see you on here again with another chit chat demo tutorial or review take care and i'll see you again soon